Alright mate, I'm out and I'm taking my new all-terrain high boots made by Groundies out on their first ever hike. It's only going to be a short, quick one today because obviously I'm breaking them in, but I feel like it's only right really to give a review of some shoes once you've given them a spin. These boots were gifted, but I can assure you I'm only going to be giving my absolute honest opinions. There's no obligation to me to say anything positive at all, or anything for that matter. So let's get into it. Chose a beautiful spot for our first hike in these. Pretty varied terrain. Gorgeous water, we've got stone, we have a dirt track. So these boots are actually a barefoot shoe or minimalist shoe, which to me, that would mean it has zero drop from heel to toe. So the sole is the same thickness all the way along. It would also have a nice wide toe box. So basically a shoe that is shaped like a foot. Uh, I'd also expect to see no excessive like padding, especially no arch support or anything like that. And the sole I would imagine would be you know, thin, flexible, and give you kind of a true ground feel. That, that's what I look for in a barefoot shoe. Now, the first thing most people think about when they're buying a shoe is what it looks like. So, in my opinion, this boot is absolutely gorgeous. I do think it's a really beautiful hiking boot. I would wear this casually, honestly. I'm, I'm kind of a fan of the look. Even for a barefoot shoe, often they have that kind of goofy, flippery, clown shoe, quite wide foot look. Um, and these, because of like the bulky design of the boot anyway, and it's got quite a thick sole, and the design of the sole makes it look a bit more like a normal, like, regular boot. Uh, so I think the design's really cool on this one. It doesn't have that goofy, barefoot shoe looking uh, look. <laughs> now this boot claims a couple of cool features. One is that it's waterproof, which I'm going to test in a minute. I'm going to step in a big puddle and see, <laughs> see whether anything gets in down the side of the, uh, the tongue of the boot. Okay, having splashed around in water and puddles for a little bit, I can confirm that the the boot itself seems waterproof. This boot is also vegan, it's made of completely vegan materials. And finally, I didn't want to talk about the fit of the boot until I'd had a chance to like wear them for, you know, a little while on this hike. They suggest that you size up with this boot, so I'm normally a 39, but in these I got a 40, and actually the length is spot on, it's perfect. I would say, so Groundies has two different shapes of shoe. They have one with what they call their regular toe box and one with their anatomical toe box, which is supposed to be considerably wider. Now this is the anatomical fit and it is wider than the average boot. Although I might have liked just a tiny bit more space for my little toe. My big toe is perfect, it's nice and straight and I've got plenty of room to spread on that side. But my little toe, I can just kind of feel how it's lightly hugging the side of the boot and normally I would prefer a bit more space. So overall, now that I've had the chance to take these boots for a spin on the trail, I'm, I'm quite pleased with them. I think they're listed for, I think it was €159.90, which uh, for a decent quality hiking boot is not a bad price. I would have maybe gone for a slightly thinner sole. The sole is still largely gives you that true ground feel, but it's just a little bit, a little bit thicker than I'm used to with my barefoot shoes. Nothing wrong with that, maybe it's just personal preference, but I like these a lot. I would certainly recommend them. I think they would make a really good first time barefoot shoe, actually, because they're almost a hybrid. They're not so wide and they're not so flexible that they feel alien uh, if you've only ever worn regular shoes. So this is really fun. I can't wait to, to review some more shoes. Uh, I'm really passionate about, about barefoot uh, lifestyling and foot health in general. So hopefully there's more to come. Follow if you liked it and peace.